Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, LHW, how are you doing this morning? How are you coping with the, the kiddos and the new routine of the school? So I am planning to get a finish today uh, with this. And then we are going to do some diamond painting once this is done. There's not horribly a lot left. Um, but yeah, just enough probably for about two hours. Okay, here, I'm doing good with the school start. So, you know, I think the CPAP machine at this point, I have, I've had it for like, what, a month and a half-ish? Um, I think it's really a double-edged sword, so I hate it. Don't get me wrong. I just, I absolutely hate the CPAP, but I, I can't not be happy with the results. Like, it's, I don't know, I was up at seven this morning, no problem. Like, <laughs> you know, which actually ended up working out okay, because Melissa was supposed to have a meeting, an early meeting, and I was, like, up and about, and she's like, oh, that's right, I got an early meeting. So, I don't, I don't know. RJ was a little bit tired. He uh, decided to stay up too late. So this is going to be, all right, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to cut it, cut it and move it. If I can actually get this done. We're so close to the edge here. I might switch over. So I got to move this whole piece. Uh, Kevin says the same thing about his. Yeah, like, it's, I don't, it's hard to explain, too. I don't know how to, exp I don't know what to say for what it does for me. All I know is I'm still tired when I wake up. Because they kept saying, you're not going to be, you know, it's going to help you so you're not tired. I'm absolutely still tired, but I, I just, I'm going. I'm doing things. Like, things are happening. I just complain less about it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yeah, definitely that love hero. Because it's, I mean, it sucks. Let's let's face it, right? Anyone that's like, oh, it's no problem. Like, it's it sucks. It's uncomfortable. You, you know, you got to wipe your face off a lot more because, you know, there's, it's, you got something sitting on your face, which, you know, can cause acne. Like, there's a whole, you know, there's a whole bunch of things, right? So I'm no noticing more, especially where the mask touches, I got to deal with that. And then with the puffers, I have to, like, you know, because I sleep in, in a chair, I have to, you know, it has to get moved every day. His what? For his birthday? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, Melissa got a Squishmallow for RJ. It's, um, a, it's, so what's the backstory again? Yeah, it's the name is Louie and it's a mango and he has dyslexia. So that's the backstory of the squishmallow. Yeah, why don't we give it to him for um start of school? Especially since he's been having issues with like the math stuff. Oh, wh what was the email? The squishmallow is RJ does too. How to get Oh, there are examples? Okay. But he's not there yet. No, but he... that, I mean, that's that's true. Telling me where they are. All right. But if we start getting two hour homework things because they no, want him I to find that. his way, that's yeah. not going to happen. No, 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 no. That's why they have the part. Okay. Because okay. because let's be real. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ratio. Right, because like, okay, do any of you guys saying, know what ratio? Like, we know like what ratios what, are, but like, if like, you're if you're looking at like a ratio, who the heck is figuring out themselves nowadays? You just go, uh, okay, you hit the little button, and you're like, uh, what's the ratio of blah 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 versus blah blah blah? Like, ain't no one sitting there and doing calculator things. Well, half of the things not make sense. Like, and that's just not, that's not make sense. Yeah. So I was trying to explain. I don't know. <laughs> that was the that was the biggest thing is like they're like you need math not that i'm not saying you don't need math but like he they're like you're gonna math. like like i know he but likes math so which is frustrating. frustrating for him because of what's going on with that yeah we just google that shit like we're past the point of like needing that in our daily lives you know what i'm saying like no one balances a checkbook by hand anymore and even if you do you do it once you set up the excel spreadsheet with how you want it set up and then you're done. You don't think about it on a daily. But of course, all the math teachers growing up are always like, you're going to be using, you can't use a calculator. You're going to be using math every single day of your life. And like, technically, yes. But but there's this thing. Um, it's called a phone that I don't think anyone ever thought would be where it is today. Um, but you don't even need, like, the, the thing too is like, you know, or not even that. I can just go into my house. And just speak out loud to that device that's there. I don't want to say because I don't want to trigger people's devices. But you go, you know what I'm saying? And just be like, um, so and so, what is blah blah blah? And then it just tells you. And then we move on our day, and then we remember more important yeah. things in our lives. Like, you know. Anyways, but it's sounds okay, so I mean I get what they're doing. Let's just Go with their program, kind of thing. Well, I do but that. The... I do that. I'm always. Alexa, how many? I was trying not that? to say that name, so that didn't trigger people's it devices. Did. It did. It pick. It picks you up. Why? It picks you up I better when you're not here, here than here. sitting here. I know it's weird. But I'm not. I'm weird. Um, but I do still do math in your head. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we all do math in our head, right? What I'm saying is, like, I don't necessarily need to like deal with like geometry problems or like ratios. You know what I'm saying? Um, and ex some of it, and that yeah, and that's what Melissa's saying is that right. Well, so so what ended up having happening something else is RJ. So the schools changed. I, I mean, you you know this. The schools changed how math is done from like when we were younger to now. And my issue growing up as well, because I'm pretty good at math. Um, is like I would get the answer. I don't. I just couldn't verbalize or write down, especially with my dyslexia. Write down was tough. How to get to that answer, and that's what the schools want. In fact, the schools care more about how you got to that answer than the answer itself, which I get. But they're kind of throwing RJ to the wolves this year a little bit because you know he's in sixth grade, and next year there's less help. So I get that. So we're just trying to find this balance of like throwing him to the wolves, but also like. Having having a dart gun so that the wolves get put to sleep for a little bit if it gets too intense. Like I know it's a weird analogy and I just thought it up and I don't know why. But anyways, part of it is multiplication percentages. Got to know how much to tip sales, etc. Yeah, and that's important. Like that's on the daily, right? I mean, that's easy. Just move the decimal, right? Things like that. Um, sorry, what, Melissa? Trying to. Yes, got it. No, no, that's true. But but I guess what I was just trying to get at is they just they also have to communicate to us on this. But like they kind of just like sent this stuff home without that communication, and now it's like a week later, and then we get the communication of this is what we're doing. It's like oh, and and we're both and that makes sense. Right. Right. But anyways, so now that they sent the 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 email, that makes sense yeah. to us, right? And we'll just yeah. keep on it. But like they should have did that in the first place. So the other thing too is they changed up RJ's program for the IEP. Yeah. Yeah. Even though 
This is a Hana. I'll keep an eye. If I can just get this. I think I, I, we have a massive knot on the 3D printer. We're trying to print a fantastic rainbow one. Hey, Wack, good morning. Um, uh, Melissa, Wack says good morning. Oh, by the way, for anyone that missed it, we're launching a few things on Friday, you guys. This one is gorgeous. I'm calling it bubblegum. This gradient is fantastic, and look, it even fit, it even did the gradient on the top of the box properly. I am so ready. I gotta do some uh, some more ghost soap for tomorrow. Um, I may be going live a little bit on the other on the old uh, TikTok. Um, doing some stuff. They probably didn't think it was required, and then got a ton of questions, so had to backtrack to send instructions. Yeah. Well. So I don't know what happened. His other, his other um, special education teacher, who he had a really, really good rapport with, and frankly, um, Melissa and I went through some things last year. Like we had COVID at the end of the school year. There were some things that Melissa ended up in the hospital before. Um, so that that special education teacher was really in tune with what was going on here for our family life. So he would make sure to help RJ with like any homework and things like that, knowing that like. You know, during times that we couldn't help, right? Um, and that person is still there, but they transferred it to this new person. I don't do good change. Arja, does, Arja doesn't do good chains and that change, and then Melissa just gets frustrated with both of us because she's like she loves change. So it'll be it'll be interesting. Um, wait, so let me go back real quick. Um, a podcast that was just a, uh, said a joke about Alexa. Oh shoot, I just said it. I'm glad I stopped at, a, at that word. <laughs> I almost read it out loud. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, so this is being launched uh, Friday. I have two of these. Uh, we're going to call it Bubblegum. Good morning, forever. And then I'm actually printing out the rest of that filament is this color here. This, like, really this light pink. So we're going to do uh, a launch of Bubblegum. Right? I was full. I stopped, LHW. You almost got me on that one. Um, we're doing a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, uh it's going to be called, uh, like, Cotton Candy. So we're going to do white, this color, and then a light blue. Uh, for the, for the bobbins. All right. But apparently I have the hiccups, though. I don't know where that came from. And so it wasn't the intent either. I know. We just don't think about the, that stuff, right? There's a radio station by us that actually, one of their commercials, is it says the name. And then it says um, for it to like f uh, add it to your playlist or whatever. For their radio station i i kind of think at some point i i get that they were having fun with it and not that that's necessarily a big deal but i, I would find it interesting at some point if there's legislation against that because you're basically um you know controlling someone else's property right Brilliant but annoying. Yes. Yeah, and, like, I think, yeah. So, I, it would be interesting to see if, like, at least for... Because ad, advertising, you guys, is actually very highly regulated. Um, Melissa was... I, although it doesn't seem like it is. Um, Melissa worked for an advertising company for billboards, out, like, outdoor advertising. It's really interesting how, how regulated that system really is. Um, I mean, there's always room for improvement, right, with that stuff? Um, but what's interesting, like, for example, like, um, they had to, um, I think like 10 years ago, they changed the rules a bit, um, 
because billboards, at least in the Milwaukee area, um, I'm sure across the country, you have like the the billboards that like have the actual. It's not just a billboard that's plastered with the stuff. It's like a digital, sorry, digital billboards. So they had a big change uh, when those kind of started becoming popular because they were flashing um, very quickly. The um, uh, what do you call it? The advertisements, so they could get more money, right? So they'd be like three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. And what they were finding is that crashes increased increased uh, in front of the billboards. So they had to they had to do a bunch of testing, and then they regulated it. So I think it's ten seconds. You can't flip the the image for ten seconds, and most billboards can't have like moving images. Like you can't like put like a a sign up. And also, interestingly enough, those billboards are linked to a national um a national network like emergency network so like let's say something like massive disaster happens um they can actually um uh put up live like live uh instructions on those So I'm going to finish off this thing of floss. Then we're going to go back here. So here's the plan for today. Um, oh, I don't know if they do that for us for Amber Alerts. We get that, that, that on our phone. We do silver and Amber Alerts. I know we get those for sure on our phone. Um, what was I going to say, though? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So when I'm done with this floss, we're going to come back up here and finish this side because that side's already done. Um, then we're going to basically take this off and move everything over. And then finish up this. So like I said, it shouldn't be too long today. We'll get some diamond painting in as well, which I'm excited about. Was that the end? Okay. We're going to skip to one, two. Uh, well, it's time for me to lurk. I have school. Oh, yeah, no worries, LHW. I didn't realize that. Well, I should have, because I know that you've been uh, doing school stuff. Uh... You and the kiddos are in school. All right. Good luck. Thank you for the work. Oh, also, if anyone missed the sale, um, don't forget to, because we're doing that second big launch on Friday again, um, if you're subbed, uh, don't forget you get 20% off the website. So there's that. Um, but we're going to be doing, if you're not subbed, uh, don't worry about it. We got uh, another 15% off this weekend for all the new launches. Yeah, how many is this? One, two. So I was surprised. I've been timing like I'm sorry, I'm so far over today. I don't know what's going on today with uh with that. Um anyways, I've been um kind of timing like working in the car, like waiting for RJ at the pickup line, because I've been intrigued. So I average about 50 stitches um while waiting for him in the car. I still have a collection of soap, but maybe you'll need more. Well, we also have all... Whack, do you... Wait. You crochet, right? More than cross-stitch? If I'm... No, you cross-stitch too, though, right? I 
I mean, there is the spooky Halloween soap coming out, so there's that. Oh, um, shoot, my phone's inside. If you go on the TikTok, uh, I have cross stitch been up for a long time, though. Mostly crochet, got it. Um, I don't have any 3D printed front crochet stuff yet, but I was thinking about it. Melissa's been doing really awesome with designing things. Um, social. If you go on to TikTok, not the newest one, that one's about honey because people don't understand that, like, just because it doesn't say corn syrup doesn't mean that there's actual corn syrup in your honey. If you're buying it from the store. Anyways, I digress. The one before that um, actually shows the glow in the dark for this, you guys. It's so good at night. Like, I'm not kidding you. It is fantastic. Uh, it looks like a shocked face with the uh, with the circle from the from the bullseye. Yes. Just like both those. Thank you forever. Yeah, so on the honey thing, not that anyone would ever be really super interested in this, but um, no joke, there are honey cartels out there, you guys. Like, there's a whole thing about, like, um, it's called honey laundering. It is a hot mess. So local, local honey is way more expensive. I get that. But, yeah, if you can, if you can swing it, that's the better bet. This person had a, a jar of honey from... Uh, the U.S., so on the very top, they have to legally say what countries the honey's from. So it said U.S., and I think it said Canada. You could barely make it out. Um, Canada's pretty good with their stuff, but anything else, especially from, unless it's Greece. Greece is also, like, super known for their honey, so that's, that's okay. But everything else in kind of the Mediterranean area is, like, a hot mess of, like, cartels and criminal activity with honey. It is, it's, it's a weird mess. And then the U.S. doesn't really test uh, that stuff. They're just going to take people's words for it. All right, I'm gonna get this done over here. Uh. So has anyone, uh, I mean, I know a few of you have mentioned it's spooky season, but, uh, anyone see any cool things like at Michael's or Joanne's, uh, for this holiday season that I should take a look at? I'm trying to figure out, I actually have a fun idea for behind me. Um, I just don't know how much the thing is going to be to get. I saw it on TikTok. This isn't uh, my week. I would love to skip it today. My wireless headset for work broke. I'm so sorry. We're in the the market for a new headset for RJ as well. Um, I don't. That kid, like he, it's not like he's like stepping on it or like sitting on it. I don't know why, but his headsets keep breaking. And like I'm, I've been really enjoying. Um, the Sunday morning fortnights with him. 
but it's it i think one, the only time i think that like i think the frustration on both of our ends is because he's over there and he's like looking away from me um and i have headphones on it's sometimes hard to hear him um and then he gets frustrated but we tried his headset and it's just it's not not doing his thing we may play around with that tonight to see again but like this will be like the third headset in a year for him And we have other ones that are fine that have. Oh. Shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm like Garmadon. There we go. Just keeping me on my toes. Um, anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, by the way, I'm almost. So, uh, um,. It's the microphone that breaks on them. And then half the time he doesn't tell us that there's an issue. So, like, the other day, like, he got frustrated because his friend just kind of, like, left his Fortnite group. And I'm like, dude, well, what's going on? And he's like, I don't know. Um, and then when we played Fortnite, I was like, oh, this is why. Because it's literally just crackling. Like, you know. Mine is hung up whenever I'm not using it. The speaker literally just fell off from the headband, and the pin that held them together is sheared off. Oh, no. That's rough. Now, I'm kind of paranoid for Melissa's work. We might have to order something for her for a backup, because she uses that headphone thing for her calls. By the way, if you ever want to um, learn more about gradients and things like that, seriously, the Witchy Stitcher projects are a master class in gradients. If you think about it, there's literally three colors for all of her gradients for this piece. And it, and it looks, especially from far away, I mean, obviously we're close, we're micro checking it out. But when you put this up farther away, I had Melissa do it, all of these gradients melt away into just a, like, it looks like a shadow. It's really cool. Okay, used for a year. Work sent me a wired one. But the wireless works so much better Mean that I have to be on the phone so much? Yes, 100%. I also like to, Melissa, sometimes when she's on the phone with, like, if she's in, like, um, like a, a meeting with her boss or something, um, where she doesn't, where they're more talking about, like, what's going on and things, um, she'll be like, I gotta take the dog out. And then she's like, I'll take you with. So she'll be, like, out in the yard. Because the, the, her workstation's now upstairs. Um, she got sick of the basement. So she's commandeered our kitchen table. <laughs> since we don't use it anyways. But anyways, so she'll be, like, on the phone with her boss on the headset. She'll be, like, walking around with Fletcher, like, trying to have her go potty. It's hilarious. I gotta find my black nail polish, you guys. All right, honest opinion. This is a little—I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this color, but I bought it, so I have to use it up. But I think if I did black for the the two ends, like I used to do with the the green once in a while, more Halloween esque, right? Do you think? Better.
So the there should be starting to come together a bit more. There's also the 310 on the very bottom. Like I said, I want to get this 310 done here up top. So we got some French knots to do. So bear with me on those. And then we'll get this finished up. I'm excited to do a little diamond painting today, though, too. That's been, uh, that's been calling my name a little bit over there. Okay, so you do have a backup, though, it sounds like. So that's good. I'm always worried about that, especially with, like, being home. Well, then Melissa, like, found out, too, like, when she had all her computer issues this week. They're like, I'm like, can you go in and do the stuff there? She's like, no, because it's all technically at this point for her work. And a lot of works now. Like, your laptop is, like, your workstation. So whether you're, like, in the office or at home, that's your workstation. So your equipment's your equipment. And sadly, I think a lot of places, too, run real lean as far as, like, having, like, backup equipment in the office nowadays. I've heard that from a lot of people, that that's kind of the, the thing is they got to, like, wait for, like, you know, their whatever third-party IT system is to send them stuff. Yeah, my office, even if it wasn't half the country away, doesn't have available seats for anyone. So if you have to go in, you have to reserve a cubicle. Yeah, a lot of places are doing that now, which is actually kind of smart. I mean, it really cuts down on um, overhead, right? You don't necessarily need these big offices anymore. But, um, you know, with the money saved, are the workers are actually going to say that 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 price or the the increase in in paid? No, but uh, you know, um, and you still have to take your yeah, and you still have to take your laptop with you, yeah. And so Melissa does not like going into the office. Um, I mean, it's fine. She likes it, but she doesn't. And one of the reasons that she doesn't like it is, um, here she has her multiple monitors set up in the office. You don't. Um, you know, it's kind of funny how, um. Back in the day, um, what what was it? If you had like two monitors, like for gaming wise, not for even for work wise, like back in the day, if you had two monitors, it was like, you know, like oh man, like you got some cash. And nowadays, especially for like even for like work, right? If you're like you're working on spreadsheets and other stuff, if you if you don't got three monitors plus at this point, it's like how do I even function as a human? You know. <laughs> How do I function at work without the three or four monitors to get everything done? Interesting how the world has changed. I just have the two monitors for gaming. I'm not. I'm not fancy. Actually, Melissa technically she has the three, so she has she has more monitors than I do. Uh, they do have a multiple monitor set. Up. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that actually that that is really nice. Hey, Naughty. Oh, Naughty. Okay. Um, This week, so not tonight, I'm having Melissa design. You're talking about that the coffin thing for your for this, right? I have I finally figured out a design workup. I'm gonna make I'm gonna print it no matter what, even if you even if you want it or not. So I'll send you the finished thing. Um it's gonna be printed probably this weekend. Friday, we have a, a launch for a lot of these things, but I have a cool idea to be black with that red that I showed you. So she just needs to design it up. Um, I think it's going to be cool. Kind of an old school wooden box, like vampire coffin kind of a thing.
Yeah, I think so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where are we going from here? I guess all the way over to here. Good morning. Just sat down to my own stitching. Nice. Nice, nice. Yes, we are going to hopefully get this finished today. And then we got diamond painting after that. So kind of just a nice, relaxing stream. And we should get this finished. We're, we're almost done. We got a little bit of 310 work to do both up here and then down here. Oh, and don't let me forget. There's two spots on these eyes I got to do. Actually, we're going to do that next. Otherwise, I will forget. You guys, so I had to raid out last night. I was so mad at myself. So I had I, I should have asked for coffee earlier. There was a there was a point, like, and of course this is like a streamer, like you don't want to like say anything, right? Like while you're streaming. So I don't know how, I'm gonna have to go back in the VOD. I don't know if like if I zoned out and fell asleep while holding down the button for the um um it was a very, okay, you know, like, when you're, like, if you're really overtired, and you're, like, you're driving, and, like, I'm sure we, this has all happened to us once or twice in our life, where it's, like, holy cow, how did I get to this point, right? So, I was holding on the sprayer button, which was really annoyingly loud in the game, and I'm, like, oh, shoot. I'm, like, I'm, like, how long have I been holding this down for? So, I'm, like, you know what? We need to get some coffee in me, and it just, I was, like, no, I'm done. And then the worst part is, of course, like, a half hour after ending stream, I was like, I'm up. What's going on? Like, it's only, it's only 11 o'clock. What are we doing? And Wolf was like, go to bed. That one house that we worked on that Sugar Pie really liked, I kind of actually really, really, really enjoyed it. Like, it was creepy, though. There was definitely some creepy stuff going on. Um, no, I w ended up um, just zoning out on the, on the chair. I wasn't in a, uh, I wasn't way awake enough to actually hold, like, some a real conversation. Alright, so we're going to... Did you drink the, wait, there's a zombie, wait, hold on. Did I drink the zombie latte? Is there something called a zombie latte right now or no? I'm so confused. Confused? Okay, let's do the 310. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do the eyes. All right, what am I missing here? It's that color, which is what? Okay, so 415, which is this. How much stuff just like. I'm going to organize this. This is 414. I'm putting this away. I don't know why this is still like out. Oh, I'm stitching it. I get it. Um, good. We got the flooring done. God, my phone's inside. I'm going to, I'll show it for Friday, the flooring. Um, flooring's done. Um, No, it's, like, in the 80s. Like, it's not. This is not... It's not good. Oh, it should be... should be cooling off by now, and it's not. The market on, on Saturday is supposed to be 86. So, we got seven inches of rain. That was the official toll for my city. Racine, which is south of us by about 30 minutes... Um, nine inches of rain uh, during that day-long rainstorm. We actually ended up having water uh, up into the garage here. Uh, I'm going to have to build a bigger French drain uh, outside the garage. So it got to the computer equipment. We moved it in time. Um, 
But yeah, we got to get that that figured out. That's that's how much water was coming up. I'm surprised we didn't get more in the basement. Pretty much almost, you know, the day after driving around, you see all the the people tearing out carpet and stuff. Um, it was bad. Not a lot of flooding though. I think it just saturated that much. Okay, what do I need again? Four and five, right? Yes. Oh, truck driver with your uncle? Nice. Oh, by the Dells? How was the weather out that way? Pretty rainy still? A little chilly yeah yesterday it was chilly but it, it, it's going right back up yeah yesterday during the storm it was in the high 60s yeah we're going back up into the 80s for the next like 10 days i think today is like 74 then 79 tomorrow and then back into the 80s the rest of the time so far You know, I might as well finish this too over here. Let's just get it all, all buttoned up before we move this piece for the final, final thing. Got plenty of time. So there was, if you look uh, on uh, my TikTok for, or for this piece, it's two, two back from the new one. If you pay close attention to this, this section here uh, during the TikTok for the glow in the dark, I'm not kidding you. I'm going to try to get a, a, a better video of just this. It looks like on the video that it's like lit, like it's on fire. Like the glow in the dark isn't stationary, like it's moving. It's, it's really cool. I'm not sure what caused that, but yeah. It's gonna be 80 where you are tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, for September, we should really be having colder temperatures than what we are. So this is done. Those are the two that I was missing. Right? Two? Yes. Let's get this green done here. Um, and this green was, I believe, this. Where did the screen come from? 
So wait, so, oh, it was this? Yeah. Going through the house yard sale at the end of the week. We haven't had one of those for a while. We should. All right, yeah, this is going to be single strand. It's very complicated. Now, here's the reason that I cut this long. I'm actually going to originally cut this into thirds. So my initial, like, three. I'm going to rewrap it. I'm going to take my single strand out. Then we're going to cut the other... The other two to the whatever we finish off with the single strand um so that way i don't get confused I accidentally stitch with a smaller strand count than i stitch with um okay so take my single strand it'll be a little awkward to stitch with but hey it'll be better in the end me uh, and my neighbor are doing a yard sale together. He has a lot of stuff that we took out of his house, like doors and more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's always yard sale seems to go better, like, especially if you have like a um, neighborhood yard sale. People come out of the, like, the woodwork for that stuff. was in there too uh thanks yeah i think i'm gonna redo the the this is chipped anyways already i'm gonna do black black and then black um more halloween s i just i couldn't find my black my matte black all right there we go Now, I am not doing the uh, the length that this pattern calls for for this. Um, reason being, uh, because I'm already stitching it with three strands, it's very puffy. And it was making this very muddled. Um, I like changing, you know, so here's, yes, it will. Um, with the, with the farmer's markets and the outside, um, I kind of like not doing that because it gets damaged even with the, the top coat. Um, cause you know, if you think about it, like I'm like, you know, moving concrete, like my, my, my weights are concrete, you know, there's a lot of stuff, right? So they're just going to get damaged. That way I can just take it off easier. All right. And then Melissa always puts a clear coat when she does hers, but hers seem to actually last uh, less than mine do, which annoys the ever-living heck out of her. <laughs> like, I don't know.
Currently we're working with um, single strand back stitching. Uh, I have 10 days of work, so uh, yard sale time, yeah. Oh, and then shoot, I missed this. Um, oh, interesting. All right, so this one is actually going over... uh over this you know what in person you actually do see that that's pretty cool it definitely gives us some depth I had to fix the 3D printer here in a second, but that one's looking good. Here in this next one right here. See, and as you can see how how much is going on right there, doing the, the two strands would have been just way too muddied. Oh, interesting. This goes over this eye, right? Uh, hey, Easy, how are you doing? We're putting the final finishing touches on this. Got probably got about an hour's worth of work left, and then we're gonna do some diamond painting. How's your work day going? And I gotta fix this three. It's gonna start. Choose. You're in the office this morning? Gotcha. Well, I think we made some good progress. Like I said, we're... Okay, now... One of the things I can show you. That last stitch, I don't think you guys can see it because it's what I like to call in the ditch. Um, so when you uh, stitch with three strands, sometimes you get to a point like this where I'm going to go over this. I 
that way three times before we can actually see it. Just something that you need to be aware of kind of a thing. Because it's between two of the things and sometimes depending on how the other stitches went down, Yeah, so like that one you can see no problem, even though that was in like the ditch. 